How to factor any quadratic. In the last video, we dealt with examples without coefficients. Remember, a coefficient is just a number before x squared that isn't 1. In this video, I'm going to teach you a method to help you factor any quadratic you may face. So let's get started. Our first example is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Your first step is to draw a table like we've drawn here. Then you look at your coefficient, which in this case is a 2. Then you have to list the factors of this coefficient. Remember, factors are just pairs of numbers that multiply together to give you 2. So in this case, it's just going to be 2 and 1. But we've got 2x squared here. So I need to place an x here and place an x here because 2x multiplied by 1x gives us 2x squared the same 2x squared that we have here. Then you have to look at your last number, which in this case is a 3. And again, you want to list the factors of this number. So your factors of 3 are simply 3 and 1 or 1 and 3. And yes, it is really important you write it both ways and you'll understand why when we go through the working. Now that your grid is complete, all you have to do is cross multiply. So with the first column, you do 2x multiplied by 1, which is 2x, and 1x multiplied by 3, which is 3x. Now using these two terms, can we add or subtract them to make plus 7x? No, we can't. Therefore, this column does not work. Go to the next column. So 2x multiplied by 3, which is 6x, and 1x multiplied by 1, which is 1x. Again, can we use these two terms to add or subtract them from each other to make 7x? Yes, we can. We can add them. Therefore, this pair works. Then, your final step is to write your two double brackets. So all you have to do is write 2x plus 1 and 1x plus 3. So your answer is 2x plus 1, 1x is the same as x, so I'm just going to put x, plus 3. Just to reiterate, to find the column that works, we cross multiply. When you found the column that works, you then write the double bracket using the corresponding number in that row. If you're a bit confused, don't worry, it's very normal. I'm going to go through a couple more examples until you understand it completely. So our next example is 3x squared plus 11x plus 6. Again, draw your table and then look at your coefficient, which in this case is a 3. What are your factors of 3? 3 and 1. But because we have 3x squared here, you have to place an x here and place an x here because if I did 3x multiplied by 1x, I'd get 3x squared. Then you look at your last number, which in this case is a 6. You then have to list the factors of 6. So in this case, it will be 6 and 1, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, and 3 and 2. Now that you've completed your grid, all you have to do is cross multiply until you find the column that works. So let's start with the first column. 3x multiplied by 1 gives you 3x. 1x multiplied by 6 gives you 6x. Can you use these two terms to make 11x by adding or subtracting? No. Therefore, this column doesn't work. Go to the next column. 3x multiplied by 6, 18x. 1x multiplied by 1 is 1x. Again, can you add or subtract to make 11? No. So again, this column doesn't work. Go to the third column. 3x multiplied by 3 is 9x. 1x multiplied by 2 is 2x. Can we add or subtract these terms to make 11x? Yes, we can add them. Therefore, this column works. And your final answer will be 3x plus 2 and 1x plus 3. So your final answer is 3x 
plus 2 and 1x, which you can write as x, plus 3. If you want to check your answer in an exam, for example, all you have to do is expand this double bracket. There's a video on my channel already explaining how to do that. For the next example, I do recommend pausing the video, trying it yourself if you feel comfortable. So here we have 3x squared plus 8x plus 4. Again, draw the table, then look at your coefficient, which is a 3 in this case. What are the factors of your coefficient? 3 and 1. But because we have 3x squared, we need to place an x here and place an x here because... 3x multiplied by 1x gives you 3x squared. Then you look at your last number, which in this case is a 4. Then you want to list the factors of 4, which are 4 and 1, 1 and 4, and 2 and 2. No, you don't have to write 2 and 2 in the other order, because it will be the exact same thing. Now you cross multiply. So 3x multiplied by 1 gives you 3x. 1x multiplied by 4 gives you 4x. Can we add or subtract these two terms to make 8x? No, we can't. Therefore, this column doesn't work. Go to the next column. 3x multiplied by 4 is 12x. 1x multiplied by 1 is 1x. And again, these two terms can't be added or subtracted to each other to make 8x. So this column also doesn't work. Go to the last column. We have 3x multiplied by 2, which is 6x. And 1x multiplied by 2, which is 2x. These two terms can be added to make this 8x. Therefore, this is the column we use and we write out our double bracket as 3x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. So we have 3x plus 2 and 1x, which is the same as x, plus 2. And this is your final answer. In the next video, I'll be going over more difficult examples with negative signs and higher coefficients but for now, make sure you're very comfortable with the method and I've left two extra examples in the description box.